Hello, listeners of Zdenex English Podcast and anyone who is watching this. Today, I am recording an episode of Zdenex English Podcast. And also, I have uh, I will do the whole thing again because it doesn't make any sense at all. All right. <laughs> Hello. Wait, is this, is, this go, is, this, is this going out live? No, 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 no. I'm just, just going to cut it because this is horrible. This is not live at all. No, no, no. No way. <laughs> uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the next English podcast. I'm recording another episode for you. And also, this is being recorded, broadcast as a video. I don't know where yet, but uh, you will be able to see this as well. And I've got a special guest today, and it's none other than an English teacher from England, from the UK. His name is Rob, and um, he has got his um, project English with Rob. Hello, Rob. How are you? Hi, Zdenek. Uh, great. Thanks so much for inviting me onto your podcast. Anytime, really anytime. So, Rob, you are from England. Whereabouts in England are you from? Right. Uh, my hometown is called Leicester. Um, but if you read it, it looks like Leicester, Leicester. Uh, but it's pronounced Leicester. It's one of those English words that we just try and fool everybody with yeah. uh, by spelling it completely differently to how it's pronounced. But Leicester is in the middle of England. If you if you take a map and you try and put a pin in the middle, you probably hit Leicester. Uh, it's about 150 kilometers north from London. Yeah, and I have to say that I don't actually struggle with this particular city or the pronunciation of this particular city. And that's because obviously I'm a huge football fan and Leicester has been doing really well in the past few years. Uh, yeah. They considering were the dogs for a long time when did absolutely. they when was it 2015 or 16 either or 3 or 4 years ago one of those yeah the foxes right the foxes yeah you, okay yeah. You do, well you know the football team at least if, <laughs> if you, you can't picture the town the city but uh yeah 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 so it's a, they are on the top of the league as well at the moment so it's right now are they yeah okay by okay by me asking that question to you you know clearly that i'm not i'm no fan of football <laughs> Don't worry, Rob, we are not going to talk about football, but I just, I'm just uh, excited that I'm talking to someone from Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, them being at the top of the league had absolutely nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, you're actually not in England right now because I know you're living in Germany. Did I get that right? That's right. I live in Germany. I live in Frankfurt. I've been here since 2016. And yeah, I've well, until Corona, I was going out every day teaching business English in people's offices. And now I have a very much reduced workload. Uh, I have a few teams lessons every week, uh, still teaching as much as I can. Yeah. So, um, I mean, your name is Rob. Yeah, I've come up. We're going to talk about your, your project, your podcast, your YouTube channel, all that. But I can't help this, um, but I hope you won't hang up. Yeah, uh, I've got like a silly, silly question for you, Rob. Have you uh, have you ever robbed anyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Rob, but I'm not a robber. <laughs> well, yeah, I've stolen from shop, but I'm pretty sure the definition of rob is to take it from someone, right? You rob some from from a shop. I think there's I think like a. Just- I'm not sure, but there's like a grammatical difference as well, because one of the, like you steal something, yeah, but you rob, but you can also person, rob, rob, you, rob a, you rob a person or you rob a place, right? You can rob a car, you can rob a bank, right? This is not good. We're both English speakers <laughs> in the speaking of this word, which is my name, uh, to rob. I just uh, thought it would be extremely funny, you know, so I, I, I thought this would be a, an amazing icebreaker. Let me ask okay, so I, Rob I, this silly question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just looked it up. To Rob, to take property unlawfully from a person or place yeah. by force or threat of force. Okay, so it's not like when I stole something from a shop, I didn't rob it because it wasn't with threat or force. It exactly. was with stealth. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't recently, by the way. It was when I was a kid. Yeah, and that is there's the difference between a thief, a regular thief, or a shoplifter. That would be the stealth you're talking about, and then uh-huh. a robber, right? That would be more, let's say, violent, possibly violent guns, 
guns involved and threats and all that. <laughs> yeah, not in England. Maybe more like a stick or a knife or just <laughs> <laughs> right because you're not allowed to carry guns, right? In England, well, they're they're around, but uh, if it was in America, I imagine every robbery is with a gun or a, yeah or something. <laughs> So it's it's just a funny thing because your name it's it's a it's a homophone basically so it's a, we yeah. have a verb to rob someone and then your name is Rob which is spelled with uh-huh. cap- capital R I assume. <laughs> what about Zdenek? Is that anything in in mm. Czech? Is that, <laughs> is that um like is a, that a word in another way? Like a murderer or something, a burglar, another another type of criminal. Oh, no, not, <laughs> no, <laughs> that not would be really. A big coincidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not really, Rob. No. <laughs> Okay, so so well, you might, you, suppose, might... you know, sorry, my the the Rob is short for Robert, and Robert is a name, but yeah, yeah Rob exists as a word as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Now um, that's now that this is out of the way, I'm just going to ask you about something more serious, or let's say more uh, something that's to the point. Yeah. So your project, Rob with English, I think it has a uh, it has a good name. It has a good ring to it. I think you get what you sort of pay for, or it's it does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Yeah. English. Well, did I say Rob? Is, did I say Rob with English? By the way, Rob English with English, Rob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Rob with English would be like, I'm using English to take things from people. <laughs> um, no, yeah. So it's English with Rob, but it's actually the third name that I've had on my channel, my various platforms. When I first started. It was called Rad English because I was using uh, special effects to be two people. I was Rob and Dylan. Yeah. So R A D. Yeah. Uh-huh. Rob and Dylan. Rad uh-huh. and Rad <laughs> is short for radical, and it's kind of an American <laughs> teen word for cool. I see. Um, but I found myself explaining that yeah. a lot of the time, <laughs> and then I changed to English language level up. Because I was, I had a sort of mentor at the time, and and this mentor said, you know, you need to find a new name, which has got really good keywording. Um, uh, yeah, word keywording at score. Mm-hmm. And if I put English language, that was a really yeah. well scoring keyword. Um, so I was English language level up for a while. And if you go mm-hmm. to the English Rob YouTube channel and go back a few months, all the videos are branded with English language level up but then I just decided to simplify it I thought that the level up thing yeah. was making it for a younger audience because it's like <laughs> video game related mm-hmm. and I don't think there's that much of a young teen audience who are looking to improve their English online I think they are all just playing video games and <laughs> learning it through listening to songs and playing video games in English yeah I also uh, it's a phrase so, of verb right for level up like to be honest, I use it as my tagline sometimes because I teach English using board games. So I sometimes say, level up your English with, lingui- uh-huh. uh, with, with English through board games. Yeah. But that's I can, another thing because it's yeah. a common phrase. There's it lots is. of other level up things. Yeah. So I think I sort of get lost in the level up <laughs> pile. So I just decided to simplify it. And uh, I, you know, English with Lucy, of course you do. I'm yeah. Sure <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I, don't, I don't watch it every day, but I, I'm aware. No. <laughs> Uh, so I, I said to her, uh, Lucy, you know, I, I'm thinking of changing to English with Rob. Would you mind? Because I feel like she was the first English with. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I wanted her to not think I was just copying her or ripping I, her yeah, off yeah. or trying to live off of her success. And she said, no, your name is Rob. You teach yeah. English. You should totally be English with Rob. So now I'm English with Rob. Perfect. And I just just to tell you, I did exactly the same with Luke's English podcast. I also reached out to Luke before I started ah. my podcast and asked him if it would be okay to have a podcast called the next English podcast, which is, you know, as you said, it's sounds like a ripoff or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you were quite yeah. friendly with Luke beforehand, right? You were, went to some of his um, pub meetups. Well, we, we have seen each other. We've seen each other. We, um, yeah, that's right. I've organized a few Lepster, Lepster meetups. Those are meetups for the listeners of the podcast. And we have recorded some podcasts together as well. But, uh, well, I got to know him through his podcast. I became his listener first. And then everything else happened afterwards. <laughs> I, um, I actually am friends with Luke. Well, 
Would I say that? Yeah, I, I hope he would say that too. <laughs> we used to work <laughs> together in Paris at the British Council. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe you should take that out. I don't know if he wants people to know where he works. Does he say? Uh, he does say it. Yeah, he does say it. Okay. okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, he'll have like a 20,000 lepsers knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Because I let the cat out well, of the bag. Well, I, I think I'm pretty sure he's he's working from home these days anyway. So, yeah, true. Yeah, it's it's gonna be fine. <laughs> um, he uh helped me uh get my first stand up comedy gig, uh, because he you know he's the stand up comedy, and I wanted to try it for a long time, and he uh sorted out a spot for me, and I I went along and I did it, and it was pretty good. I've done a couple more since then, uh. But um, if it wasn't for lockdown, I would have done more stand-up comedy, I think. I shouldn't have okay. said that because now I feel the pressure to be funny during <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. I found you through Instagram and I had no idea you were also a stand-up comedian. And, and no, also I'm not, that I'm you not were a stand-up comedian at all. I've done it three times. Well, I, that, that, makes, you, that makes you a stand-up already. comedian in, in, in my eyes, okay? And also you happen to be friends with Luke. So that's, it's like, you're blowing my mind with every single sentence you say, what's next, Rob? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I live next door to you. Oh, <laughs> the, the what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but are, you, um, are you in London now or, or no, are you no. I was there, in the Czech Republic? I was, this time last year, I was living in London, but now I okay. am back in the Czech Republic, yeah. I might, okay, I might go there again off. one day. I guess, but you know, nothing is ideal. Like you, this is always like, you always sacrifice something when you go there and you get something like, that you can't get here. It's always like that. You know it yourself, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I miss, uh, miss fish and chips big time. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, there are aspects of uh, living in England that I don't like so much. I'm, I'm happy to not live in England, yeah. especially now with their, um, badass corona strain that they've got going on <laughs> right but isn't there a new one now like the brazilian one that's that's a even like more dangerous isn't it everybody oh, forgot I about the british that. one i mean it's in our now i saw i saw uh, a piece of news yesterday like, the the british the british strain has finally arrived in the che like in the czech republic yeah so that was like one of the headlines <laughs> But I'm, I, I'm sure in the UK, it's no longer a big thing, right, anymore. Is it? I think it's a big thing, but I don't think it's headline news. I think it's just something that they are all living with and yeah. accepting that the level is higher because of it and that children are more susceptible. And another thing that I heard yesterday is that people who had the, the original COVID, which now seems like nothing, yeah. some of them who have the um, antibodies and mm -hmm. it was assumed that they couldn't get COVID again in the next few months. Yep. They, some of those people have been infected with the new variant, the super unlucky people who had it the first time around and now they've got the new stronger one. So it's yeah. not, um, you know, it, nice. yeah. it gets around those antibodies somehow. And then the question is like, what's, what's with the vaccines? Like, is, is this then... Is this then not pointless? Anyway, uh, Rob, uh, we are talking about coronavirus. Let's and it, all, corona it always yeah, that's happens that's... to me. Whoever I talk to. <laughs> What's going on? You know, you can't, because what are you doing? Oh, well, I was doing ah, but Corona, so I'm not. So and then you get onto it. And as I was talking, I was like, we should move on to something else. There's enough Corona chat out there on the, on the, yeah. In Land. And whenever this happens, I always try to be lighthearted about it. But then again, like, is this the right approach? Like, you, can you, you know, should you? Anyway, <laughs> let's let's just uh, get this out of the way and uh, let's talk about your Eng uh, um, English with Rob. Shall I call it platform franchise? Uh, no, uh, venture. Not, not venture. Even venture. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not really making any money with it. Uh... <laughs> Not Hobby. yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Well, uh, so on YouTube, I got monetized uh, actually at the beginning of the coronavirus because I made some coronavirus videos and they took off a little bit. For me, they took off, but compared to the other YouTubers out there, it's uh, you know a fraction of the uh, views they get. And I got finally monetized. You have yeah. to have 240,000 watch minutes in a year. What is I it? See. Um, 400 watch hours in a year 
months and I was way under that but then I, I I had some videos about the coronavirus vocabulary which pushed me over that yeah and now I make a whopping fifteen dollars per month yeah from my videos yeah, a lot of people just have a, have the wrong idea they think that we are millionaires but it's just those at the, yeah. the top of up, at the top of the uh, what's what's the expression ahead of the pecking order or whatever no yeah you've got to be at the right part of the algorithm yeah. the thing is if you have like i have just over six thousand subscribers and that's low but i think if you get hundreds of thousands well it's not really about subscribers it's about views yeah because each view is money and um the more views more money and i think it's sort of a incremental um scale so it goes once you start going up it goes up quite quickly but you have to really put the work in and what mm, yeah my problem is that I don't, um, I don't, uh, I'm not consistent mm. to fit into the algorithm. You really yeah. have to put out a video every week and uh, every video has to be better than the last one. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. I just yeah. want to say to my listeners that you should definitely check out uh, Rob's YouTube channel. And I'm not saying this just because you are on my podcast and because I want to be nice to you. I ge- I genuinely had a lot of fun watching your videos because I think they are really well made, and especially uh-huh. what's what's especially sort of like intrigued me was the the the, the editing and uh, the animations and it's just it's just so funny and I, when I I actually did check the number of the subscribers you had I I will be honest with you I was like how is this possible this guy. He's so funny and brilliant, and he he, he must must have spent ages on editing this video. Yeah, you know, I can give you some uh, specific examples, and I'm like, how does he only have so few listeners, uh, so few this viewers, is, or subscribers? Is I wake up with in my brain every <laughs> single morning. Yeah, the thing is, I the editing is what I really love. I yeah. so I just dis- discovered it myself. Um, I I I was making videos with my kids, and I wanted to make a like a music video with green screen so I, I started yeah. doing it I really got into it mm-hmm. and then I started the English teaching because I was teaching English already and I sort yeah. of combined the two and the other the reason I don't get high up in the rankings is because I make the videos I want to make yeah and sometimes it will it will be based on a special effect or, or a gimmick yeah. or something I want to try and it's not based on the videos that I should make nice no, because they get higher rankings yeah like should be teaching and, present perfect and past simple and all that. Just to give yeah. one example to the listeners, yeah. So I, I've I've watched a video today where you were explaining adjectives or you were clarifying adjectives for being scared, like terrified, horrified. Um, and a Halloween that, video. Oh, that was so good. I think that that was one of the latest ones there as well. I think that was the last. This is how infrequently I put videos out. It was like once a week, but that last one was the Halloween video and that was the last yeah. one I put out. Yeah, and so so this video essentially is Rob teaching this language, this target language, while fighting fighting creatures in a Mortal Kombat style or, or Street Fighter style and just beating the crap out of them, all the punches so and kicks. I, I was just, it was so, so cool, man. And so you have like all those um like what do you call it like texts you know all the you're explaining the words it it pops up on the screen so that everybody can see what you're you're teaching and you're sort of like there's like a small figure of you there right like as you as you're fighting the the monsters yeah it is in in a computer game and it's you and it seems like you are talking to (laughs) us uh the the learners let's say uh teaching the language so it's like if i really focus on your on the little animation, I can see that you're really teaching the language, but at the same time, you are really like throwing the punches and kicking everybody's ass, and it's just so funny. <laughs> what's what's the name? Yeah. Can, t- tell us the name. Tell us the, the, could you tell us the exact name of the of this video, please, so that my uh, my listeners that. can find it. That's called "Scary Language," Halloween vocabulary, and fighting monsters. Yeah. You know, I th- it's also titles have a lot a big thing to do with uh, your ranking. And I mm-hmm. think that's that it's a bit all over the place. <laughs> Scary language, Halloween vocabulary, <laughs> fighting monsters. Well, and there you go. Listen, 240 views. If, if, 
if I saw that, that, if I saw that for me, for someone like me, this is clickbaity enough. Yeah. But the thing is, like these days, you have to appeal to to a wide audience, you know. But honestly, this this is uh, right up my street. So good. It's fun, uh, it's really, fun stuff. Well, you don't need to learn any English, though, it's then. Uh, oh, I do. I do for sure. <laughs> you, you you are um, like the idiom king. Every time I listen to one of your podcasts, there are so many <laughs> idiom phrases in there. I'm like, wow. This yeah. Is impressive. I, I think you you may have accidentally made a li little mistake. Did you did you mean idiot king? Maybe that that would have been more, <laughs> more that would have been more precise. Maybe you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, listen, th th thanks for that. But uh, I have to say these videos, like, uh, there was one with uh, fly. Yeah. And I think you were teaching a specific phrase of verb there or something. Oh, and this fly one. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, to put off, to put someone yeah, off. Yeah, to put, to put someone off. Yeah. And then uh, the other guy, Dylan, he made a cake yeah. with flies in it. Yeah. And flies really put me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, the red, that's the red thing. That's the rat thing you spoke about before. Yeah, so it's that's like your rat English one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so it's like your alter ego. So so basically, this is another thing that I admire because, I, to be honest, like I'm a podcaster and I have tried to record some videos. Like it's just sort of like fid fiddled with it, just to try it out. But it's a it's a it lot. Right now? We are, but this this is kind of different because <laughs> I mean I, I I may edit a few things, but it's better if I don't. You know, I would just leave all my mistakes in it. <laughs> But uh, what sure. was I? Yeah. What was I gonna say? Um, uh, uh, you you've tried video, but yeah, well, guess... well, the, like if you really have to do something that sort of like appeals to the audience. So uh, like that that that's an old trick, right? You have an alter ego, but I really like it. It's it's so cool. Like you yeah, you dress differently. You, say... you put on you put on um, glasses or something, and then it's like a different person talking, but it's still you. Yeah. So that's Dylan. Yeah. And, that's Dylan. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that I stopped doing that because when I was editing those videos with two versions of me in it, yeah, it took so long. The I recording can imagine. was a pain yeah. to get the voices just right, mm -hmm. and um, editing all the green screen and uh, this thing called rotoscoping, where you you have to cut out the person frame by frame sometimes, depending I on see. what you're doing. I see. Um, <laughs> So I decided, okay, I need to be more productive, yeah. uh, more consistent. So Dylan has got to go. He, he'll still show up <laughs> now and again. Uh, but yeah, God, no, I, I, I get, I get you. Yeah, that, that makes sense because, I mean, while this is something people would admire, like if, if you spend ages on it, it, does, it doesn't really pay off. You know, it makes no sense. Yeah, but, but it pays off for me because I enjoy editing right. that. And when, right. I, when I, you know, when I'm, I've got like a, a laser gun and I'm shooting Dylan in the face and he's disappearing. <laughs> I get a big kick out of that. I really enjoy it. When I, in fact, sometimes I'll be editing and my wife will be in the room and I'll, I'll do something good and I just go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go, what? I just made something awesome. Yeah, well, I can see it. It really, you know, sort of shows that you put a lot of work in, a lot of effort and a lot of sort of passion into it. Like you can clearly see it. Like the, that video yeah. with the with the fighting, it's just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, well, let me disappoint you there. Um, <laughs> that's cheating, that video, because that actually is a video game. Um, okay. That's not me animating it. That's a Do video game with, doesn't matter. with the Xbox Connect, <laughs> and I uh, just screen recorded it. It doesn't and matter. I, I think most people are not able to do that. So, you know, just, <laughs> it is magic to me, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I also know that you have a podcast as well. So uh, I've listened to some of your episodes. Some of them are kind of shorter. Some of them are longer ones. The latest one I listened to was uh, uh, you talking about parenting and doing exercise. You sort of oh, merged, wow, that's merged these two topic, topics into one. And I think you had a um, Canadian guest on your podcast as well. Mm -hmm. Right. That was with Kate from English Anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, she suggested that um, subject because she knows that I'm a parent also. Yeah. And uh, I think something we're both struggling with at the minute is mixing parenting and getting exercise as well. But yeah, that was just episode five. I'm, episode, I'm numbering the, the episodes, the, the proper episodes. Mm -hmm. And then there are some shorter episodes where I, I record a, an episode and I think, oh, wait, I, I want to add this as well. So and then <laughs> that's like episode, episode 2A. 
<laughs> sub episode. Yeah, I've done this before, yes, by the way. <laughs> I've done the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm very early on in my podcasting. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to call it? Project Carry- career. Uh, it's nah. <laughs> Are you do- so I'm just the podcast is still um, working out what it wants to yeah. be. There are some teething problems, but that's that's like it, it's normal, you know. I'm sure I'm sure you're gonna get there. Like it, you sound good on the podcast, and you know what you're doing. Thanks. You're I, in- I I hesitated doing it for a while because I I I find my voice a bit too nasal and thin. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, I, I can. I'm sure I'm sure you can uh, t- turn up one of those things there. <laughs> so the bass on here. I can do I can do like echo. Yeah. But, oh wait, it's not working. Echo. <laughs> but I've not worked out how to do the bass yet. Yeah. Hmm. Would you would you would you call these? I know that that's also a, kind of a rude word, but would you call these knobs? <laughs> Absolutely, I call them. Yes. Yeah. 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 I just I, I just I, wanted uh, to be careful there because you can also say <laughs> someone is a knob, right? <laughs> yeah, you're a knob, and knob is like a childish word for penis. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so when we record a podcast, my wife might say, "Oh, you're going down to the basement to play with your knobs, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, too bad for her. <laughs> Maybe next time. She's watching some reality TV that I wouldn't want to watch anyway. Ah, I see. I see. And I'm not down here every night recording podcasts <laughs> and videos. It's my oh, did... creative outlet. Yeah. It does look like your world there, really. Like you have all those, all sorts of, let's call them gadgets or gizmos. Oh, so, um, <laughs> yeah. It's podcast audience. I'm sorry. This is where you have to switch to the video. <laughs> There's my green screen over there. You can see my yep. video lights. So you painted uh, okay. that. I assume you painted the wall. You painted it no, green no, because no. no. This, no? this is um, just is just some material hanging from the ceiling. Ah, it looks painted actually. Uh-huh. Well, no, I just made it straight. But the, it's, a, it's a really good thing because I can yeah. actually hide loads of crap behind there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking stuff. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I a mess. Yeah, I've got my um, some guitars down here as well. I do some uh-huh. stuff. Little. Um, but it's not it's not all um, fun stuff. There's also boxes of baby clothes and <laughs> yeah. How do you how how do you manage to juggle? How do you manage to juggle having three children, three daughters? Is that sorry? If it's something I can't tell, I will edit it out. Yeah, so I, so I don't I don't want to have my kids in my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, talk about them all the time. Uh, but yeah, it's a big part of my life. Uh, obviously, I'm saying er too much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, uh, don't worry. I do the same. <laughs> I listened back to my the podcast I edited yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just er's in it. On saying that, I'm going to say er again. What was I going to say? <laughs> what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, how do I how do I juggle it? Um, well, during lockdown, I don't. Uh, that's why I've not made any videos for a long time. Yeah, basically. Uh, but normally they're at school when I'm at work. Mm-hmm. And then they get home and we have dinner and fun times. And then sometimes in the evening, I'll sit down and watch TV with my missus and other nights I'll make a video. So Yeah. And you play with knobs as well. Kids, don't don't yeah, forget about my, that. <laughs> yeah. The kids, um, what? <laughs> Let's not put the kids in one of those jokes. No. <laughs> the kids don't, don't see me when I'm down here playing with my knobs. Although sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I bring them down here and they really like, I like to have them play the musical instruments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, if I if I give them the microphone and I put the echo on, they they like to um, you know, say poo poo caca daddy, poo poo caca. <laughs> and they they really like that. So, you know, it's not like they're not allowed to be down here. We, yeah, we yeah. still have fun music time as well, well as, as long as they are not one of those kids that break everything that would be bad like if they started like sort of tearing tearing everything apart you know like dogs or something <laughs> uh it's usually me that drops and breaks stuff to be honest um, <laughs> okay yeah but i just blame it on the kids all right now it's just it's just like I, I i can't imagine how hard this must be like having three kids and podcast doing do podcast and I know you said you don't you don't have so much time for the videos, but you definitely keep uploading the the podcast episodes as I have seen in the in my podcast app feed. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I've done a few recently. The thing is, podcasts compared to videos takes so. When I edit a video, yeah, I'm talking like 10, 11 hours plus for the editing, maybe 
an hour all together with the recording because I like to do it in different locations. And then I'll, I have to write the episode as well. So a uh, video is a lot more effort than a podcast. Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I record one minute videos these days and it takes me one hour to do everything, maybe even more like to uh, write a piece of text next to it and just do a little bit of editing. I don't do much, you know, but occasionally but do I want to enjoy it. You find, you find it fun or you find it a, <sighs> a, a castle? It's, it's a bit stressful for me. No, it's not as much fun as podcasting, you know, because I need to worry about what I look like, what I'm wearing, whether my yeah, ha that's... hair is washed, whether my yeah. hair is combed and whatnot. And it's just, it's just such a nuisance for me. You know? It's a drag. I, I made a video early on and I filmed it and it took me a long time to film it. And it was a complicated thing. Lots of complicated stuff with me talking to the other guy, Dylan. <laughs> and I, I realized when I watched it back that one of my shirt buttons in the middle <laughs> was burnt And I was like, oh, am I going to re-record all of that? <laughs> So what I did was I used some special effects to like put a button, copy a button from my lower part of my shirt and, and paste it up there and track it through the whole video oh. so that you couldn't tell. But wow. that actually took longer than it would have taken to re-record it. Yeah. So but I should have just re-recorded it, but it, I learned a lot. It could have been worse, you know. What about if, if your flyer was undone or something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would be so much worse. Yeah. So this is not the worst. Yeah, Come on. I couldn't, I couldn't copy and paste it from another fly because I've only got one. <laughs> on my, my, my yeah. Anyway, I just want to, I know you have to go soon, Rob. So uh, I just want to remind my uh, listeners that English with Rob, hope I'm saying it right this time. It's a, a brilliant podcast, amazing YouTube channel, and you should definitely check it out. Uh, Rob is really funny and cool and has cool videos and wonderful podcasts and uh what else is there to say rob <laughs> uh well i want to say sorry one more thing where 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 can we find you oh so youtube english with rob mm -hmm. instagram english with rob yep any podcast app english with rob <laughs> if i'm not on your podcast app then let me know and i have to put myself on there yeah and recently tiktok english with rob but wow okay I, I, it's too many. It's too many now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have time for all of them. I, I've got too many eggs in too many baskets. <laughs> That's not the right way that idiom is supposed to be. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Rob. No, it's been it's been great But to have. Yeah. It, it's been. This has been like a, uh, like a, an advert for me. <laughs> it's <been> really good. <laughs> well, uh, but I'm definitely going to get you on my podcast soon. Yay! I can't wait. That, oh gonna, yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Fun. You were on my list before you even invited me onto yours. <laughs> really? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make, my next video is going to be um, podcasts, a list of podcasts to learn English by, Yeah. partly so I can promote my own, but also so I can promote sort of independent people like you, like me, like Rock and Roll English, yep. and so many more. And um, because I think people are, you know, if they're finding BBC six minute English and they're finding the big ones, but uh, yep. little ones because they're getting lost. And I think if I exactly. make a YouTube video, exactly. I could point people in the right direction towards brilliant and other great podcasts. That's, that's a great idea because we have to be one family and often like the, the people that listen to your podcast might want to listen to other podcasts that have similar feel to them. Right. So that's, yeah. that's why we need to sort of stick together and help each other out with this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, there are so many, I see it like you go to the pub, And you speak to a few people and then you end up talking to like a, a, a few of them, you know, like not every podcast is for you because everybody's exactly. different. Exactly. Uh, but you can find the one that really yeah. uh, is really your thing. Exactly. One, two, three, four, five. You don't just listen to one podcast. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Rob, thanks again for being on the podcast and I hope to speak thanks, to you Danny. soon. Yeah. Thanks for wrapping up because, yeah, I do actually have to go and record another podcast now. I know. I'm trying to look after you. <laughs> nothing, nothing for weeks and then I, I schedule two in one night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But thanks for having me on and um, best yeah. of luck. We'll definitely be in touch. We'll speak together Ab a lot, I'm sure. Absolutely. Take care, man. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.